Hello, Pickaholics. I'm coming to you today. I have a first challenge lock from Dumpster Fire. Uh, this is, he is on Discord, and he kindly sent me his first lock, knowing that I would attempt to pick it and gut it on video. I know nothing about this lock, other than it is a challenge lock. So we're going to find out together what is in here and what we have to play with. We love our tape in this industry and sport because everything needs to be held together completely. And we have a key. Oh, interesting. It's Corbin. Corbin Rustling. It's an original cylinder, too. Fire 2. Oh, Dumpster Fire 2. So we don't know what the name of the lock is, and I'm assuming that the key is in here. We are gonna find that out later. This is Corbin, uh, I don't know which keyway that is. Maybe an L4, somewhere about there. That is tight. But let's see what happens with this one. It's a beautiful lock. Not always do we get to see it this way. Nope, I gotta take those off. Let me now lock in there, you will. Let's get that in there nice and tight. Okay, picking on camera must be able to see everything. Let's see, 14. Oh, that'll work. That fits in there quite nicely. Pretty big open. Let's see, what's going to work? Do we have full range up and down? No, we don't. We get to pick through the warding. So let's try it and see what happens. What do you say, clockwise? Let's do clockwise. I always get nervous picking first time locks on camera that I have no clue. A little bit of core movement there. And Corbin makes a really good lock to begin with. It is nice and tight. Great tolerances on a Corbin. A little more core movement there. This is not the way I pick normally, so let me, are we still? Yes, still in camera. That's half the fun. We might have set an overset trap. Let's go the other direction so we can get the bind. A little movement after touching number two. One is just still springy. Number six. Six. So this is a six pin lock. Most Corbins are, but some people will only pin them to the five. But this one is pinned to full six. Number three is a really deep cut. It's kind of an overset. Let's do a couple of those. There's a little movement. But then we get real springy pins, and then we get ones that are locked up. That tends to tell us we're not on the right track. Yeah, so 
in reverse rotation, usually indicating that you're on the pin wrong. And I just feel like I'm setting that back one. Funny, when you go one direction, you feel one thing, you turn it the other direction, and different things tend to set. But this lock, I'm all about two pins for the moment, no matter which way I go. And then the same two pins. Oh, no, now we got some other pins in the play. Forgive me, I'm getting quiet because this lock is actually taking a bit of concentration to feel what's going on. He said this is his second or his first challenge lock, but it has a number two on it, so it makes me wonder. And this feels <laughs> a lot different than a lot of first time challenge locks, and I've picked a couple of them now, but there's usually a noticeable difference. Corbin is not normally a person's first challenge lock. This is a very, very high quality lock and they can be just a pain to pick on their own without putting in a challenge lock into it.
Number six has an extra strong spring on it, which is throwing a lot of different things in off on this. Where is the pry bar? Gotta take a red hot chili pepper to it. It doesn't want to lift on its own. Gotta use an extra strong Pick on it. I wonder if that was. The other way. Number three is a deep cut. You just have to kind of touch it to get it to the nudge. Where are you going to set? That is a really strong spring in number six. There we go. That was a good core movement. Oh, beautiful fall set now. Lost it there for a second because we're getting kind of rotation. And doesn't quite go up there. Maybe you're not ready yet. One. There's two. Getting kind of rotation there on that one, but I think we just set an overset. There we go. Let's drop it down. Did we get it down? Back in that big full set. There's a high one right behind there. Let's get up.
something else is in here. I think we lost something. There's so much movement right there. That is a high pin right behind a really deep pin. Thing that can reach back and behind that. Nope. <laughs> we got it. There we go. <sighs> I had gotten it with a multi pick, but I just needed a high gem to kind of nudge it out of the way. There we go. That is a tough lock. That's a nice one. Let's see, Corbin, this would be the large size plug that it appears. Yes, take that. Let's, let's try getting it without the key. I can tell you though, actually, you know what? I wanna see this key. This is me being me because I like keys. And I'm curious to know if I was correct on the L4 key blank. If it's gonna say it's actually got an original. Oh, it wasn't, uh, the high is in the back and it is an L4. 224621. That is a bidding. That's nice. That's factory a little bit of clicking so definitely we know there's mods in here because it's a challenge lock let's get some of this stuff out of the way what am i doing I'm taking off a clip i can do this in my sleep most of the time Okay, we are definitely shimming this one because of these back. I don't know what's in there. Let's kind of stay away and we'll try and that goes in there nicely and easily. And since you're the large size, you will fit in and around and cover all of that. Keep that shim on the top pins. Let's take that back out. Oh yeah, some overset traps. Everything looks like it's mostly normal pins though, except for that one. I felt maybe it was number three. I, I could have sworn this was reversed and maybe I was just confused. So let's see what we've got. Oh yes. Uh, somebody's been playing with a jeweler saw. Oh yeah, serrated tops on these pins. 
This is definitely the work and a torpedo. That looks like a damn torpedo. Beautiful work here, dumpster fire. Serrated. What do we have? We do have some cylinder mod plugs. You know what? Forgive me on this, but we're going to move this down into a scene level for playing with a lock. Let's get all this in here. Oh no, picks on the floor. Okay, so cylinder mods number one. It, huh. A little bit of counter milling in two. Feels like something's been done in one and it looks like something's been done in one, but you know, it's, I don't know, that's strange. Number three feels clean, number four feels clean. And we have counter milling in number six. Number one has had something done to it. It's been enlarged on the top and then it's had a file run through it. Maybe a little counter milling onto number three. I mean, there's been some work done in these, but it's not threading of a tap. It's almost like it's just micro serrations in the plug. That's kind of nice. Now let's see what we got when we play with this. I lost my tweezers. Oh, because they're in the tool rack. We're still not quite right. Let's go up just a hair. Get everything looking pretty for everybody. That is a tough log. Oh, yes. I felt that. <laughs> that is a... Nice spool driver, Corbin Original Spring. I'll show you why. Corbin always uses the same type of spring. Another tall spool with kind of a beveling in the top. Corbin has an extra little wind in the middle of the spring, which you can distinctly tell and they're typically silver in color serrated driver you know it, if he said this was his first this does not look like the work of a first i mean this is some high quality mods in a high quality cylinder oh yeah oh first little bit of weirdness Let's put that there. We'll, we'll, we'll show you this. This, If this is a first challenge lock, this is somebody who really understands and watched a lot of people do some things and try some different things. This is not in the same type of quality that most people will do. We have an hourglass spool in five. Everything has been Corbin Original Springs. Another serrated in number four with a little tiny bronze spring. Let's see if we have anything in this. This is six, five, four, three, two, one. Nothing's been done in the Bible other than dumpster fire two makes me think it's his second one and we're out of focus and off camera and I'm so far sorry dumpster fire two nothing in there so let's take a look at the pins where are we there oh, I was had the camera over on another side so number one this is a jeweler saw work in a Corbin original pin, nickel silver. It's 
Bull driver on top of that. Narrow, narrow waisted one. And I was wrong, there was no super spring. It was just everything feeling like what it was. Number two, another beautiful jeweler saw serrations and another good looking spool with that hourglass taper to the top of it. Getting that, it can uh, mimic a taper going up and having to lift it high and you start to feel the false set and it nudges itself into place. And then you get into the spool. Number three, again, serrations. Beautiful jeweler saw work. The reason why I say this is higher quality because this is not what we normally see in the quality of a number one challenge lock. This is, you've had some practice, you've been playing around, you've been doing a bunch. He'd probably been making pins for a while before he actually put one together and thought it out really well. Um, not sure about the mods in the cylinder. I'll have to talk to him and see what he said about that. Number four, I'm losing count here, is that torpedo pin. Is that actually in focus? I think it is. And it's corresponding driver, another serrated long one. Number five, another serrated bottom pin. Driver is an hourglass spool. These are always fun. They act like a spool and kind of like a tapered as well, too. This is where the weirdness felt, and it took me a little bit to understand that. So number one, excuse me, <laughs> we're back at number six with a number one cut. A little serration on top. And this pin as the driver. What I didn't show you, which I noticed when I was pulling it out, it is actually a pin in pin, top pin. So we have pretty wide serrations done with a file and then drill through and a little, it almost looks like a nail, probably is. That is the number six. That caused a little bit of chaos and havoc to start with, but nothing that we couldn't overcome. Let's give you a close-up of the pins. This is dumpster fire number two challenge lock, where I thought it was number one, but it says number two on it, so I'll have to ask him about that. Beautiful work. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Dumpster Fire. I will pass this on to whoever you say it needs to go to. Have a good evening, Pickaholics.